Libra souls, welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I am so excited and honored to be doing this reading for you today. We will be channeling a message from a thriller book for you. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to the library and I got a new library card and I checked out six different thriller books for this exact video. So let's see what the thriller books are. We have All Her Little Secrets by Wanda M. Morris. My Sister the Serial Killer by Oya Can Braithwaite. When the Reckoning Comes by Latanya McQueen. The Hunting Wives by Mae Cobb. My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. And Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. So how this will work, Libra, we have six books here and 12 zodiac signs. So what I did was I wrote all of the book names on 12 slips of paper. However, for example, All Her Little Secrets is written down on two slips of paper so that we would get to an even number for the 12. So let's see which book has your channeled message. We have all Her Little Secrets by Wanda M. Morris. That is this book right here. And for those of you who are looking for a book recommendation, this book here follows a powerful black woman who is a corporate attorney, and she has been having an affair with her white boss. However, as time goes on, her boss is found murdered in his office. So the story spins into this very thrilling dynamic of trying to figure out what happened to him and all of these secrets that the woman in this story comes to realize about herself and also about things that happened in her past. So if that is something that interests you, there is a book recommendation. So as for your channel message, there are 371 pages in this book. So I will be using a random number generator on my phone. I'm going to let Spirit pick the page number and then we will see what your channel message is on that page. We have page 49. So let's go to that page in this book. And the sentence that's at the very top will be your channeled message. Word of his suicide had consumed the entire company, especially the legal department staff for the past 24 hours. Word of his suicide had consumed the entire company, especially the legal department staff, for the past 24 hours. I will also be pulling one card from four different decks, the first of which is the Disney Villain Tarot deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages for my Libra souls? We have the Nine of Swords. Next, we have the Moonology deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else?
you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Next, we have the Keepers of Light deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Ooh, this one flew right out of the deck. We have Charity, Prayer, and Contemplation. Connect with Heaven. Ask, and you shall receive. Your final card will come from the Energy Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages from my Libra souls? We have action. Okay, Libra, let's read your channeled message from the book one more time on page 49. Word of his suicide had consumed the entire company, especially the legal department staff, for the past 24 hours. So, Spirit is showing me that... My Libra souls on this reading here, some of you have lost someone due to suicide. And I'm also drawn to legal department. I'm seeing some of you have dealt with issues in the legal system surrounding whatever happened with the suicide in your in your in your family. And I'm seeing that is causing a lot of worries with the Nine of Swords. And for those of you who have not experienced a suicide in your family or with a loved one, a friend, there's still this anxious, worried energy coming through around something. And I feel that it does have to do with something with the legal system. So I'm still being drawn to that part of the message in the channeled book. So there's a few different dynamics here. Some of you are dealing with a legal issue of some sort that is revolving around someone in your life that resorted to suicide. And then I'm seeing another dynamic of you dealing with the justice system in regards to a different energy, a different conflict that you're working through right now. So there's a lot of worried energy here and spirit wants to put your mind at ease and let you know that you and your loved ones are safe. This worrying energy is just creating more fears and anxiety that is unnecessary at this time. Spirit is saying we are here. We're supporting you. We're holding you. We have got you. Okay? But there's also this energy of your your spirit guides wanting you to ask them for help. Asking the divine for help because we have charity, prayer, and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. What is the the outcome that would you would like to see from this situation. Spirit is saying to connect with heaven, to pray, to meditate, to contemplate, to ask for what it is that you want, and you will receive it because you are divinely guided and supported. Okay? And next to that is the action card. So there is... A certain level of action on your part that you spirit is suggesting that you take right now and with the white horse and the black horse on the card I do feel that you are taking action right now to work on your shadow self I feel like you are balancing the light and dark 
aspects of yourself right now. But it's also very interesting. There is a situation of race coming up because I'm being drawn to what this story is actually about. And this is about a black woman who was having an affair with her white boss. So it's interesting that on this action card here, we have a white horse and a black horse. So I would like to open up my Claire audience and ask Spirit what that's about. Thank you. It's like distancing yourself from the darkness. Because the relationship that's in that book, it's not exactly the healthiest. And it's very interesting because it's like running away from the darkness here. The white horse is running away from the black horse in this photo here. So it's like running away from certain dark aspects of oneself. I th There's another situation coming up here I can see where it's like there's a shadow part of the self that has revealed itself and it has been very difficult to look at. So it's almost like running away from it. What is that for you, Libra? Which aspect of your shadow have you been running away from? Because that is the key towards some level of action that you need to take in your life right now or spirit is suggesting that you take you don't need to do anything it's whatever you exert your free will to do but what part of your shadow have you been running away from what else spirit thank you Yeah, I'm hearing allegory. What do you mean by that spirit? I'm hearing the word transaction. So there's an energy exchange. taking place here. A transaction is how spirit is referring it to be. What kind of transaction of energy spirit? Thank you. Yeah, it's, there's just like this fear-based energy around you, is what I'm feeling. And it's also what's contributing to the Nine of Swords energy. Like, I don't see that all of these worried thoughts are 100% deriving from you, if that makes sense. I feel like there is an energy around you trying to influence you in some way trying to keep you in a nine of swords energy and spirit is saying to move away from that see how the horse the the white horse is running away from the darkness there's that element of it as well so there's a few different messages coming through with action there's a need here to walk away from fear-based energies because I feel like you're taking on some of that as your own 
and it's not yours. But there's also this really beautiful energy in your reading here, Libra. I'm being drawn to the roses on top of her head here. So it's like choosing to see the beauty even in a situation that is filled with fear. Spirit is saying focusing on the good, focusing on things that make you feel good will also help to let go of this, this worried energy. <laughs> But there's also strength in having that inner knowing that you and your loved ones are safe. I'm being drawn back to the channeled message about suicide. And I know that is a very dark energy that's coming up, but I feel that it's something very pertinent to your shadow work. And being shown that there is a pattern here in some of your lineages where that cycle has repeated. And I'm being shown the shadow work that you're working on to do that inner healing within yourself. This is a cycle that you can help to stop and you can, you can help break it. What messages are you bringing through here about this shadow work spirit? Thank you. Yeah, the first thing they're, they're saying is to really listen. Really listen to what people are saying. Because there's keys and messages within the communication that you're receiving from other people as to what to do to do this shadow work. They're saying the message is coming through listening. And this could also be listening clairaudiently to the guidance you're receiving as well. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, wow. Um, for those of you who had a loved one who took their own life, I'm seeing this person is also, their energy is around you a lot, and they have been a spirit guide for you, is what I'm seeing. They have been helping you with this as well because they they know that part of your mission here is to help break that pattern and they want to help you break that pattern what other messages do you have here spirit thank you Yeah, there's some sort of a test. So, Earth is one big schoolroom. So there is a big lesson or a test that's unfolding right now. So when it comes to learning a lesson, we may not get all the information that we're looking for in the moment where we're looking for it because we have to figure it out to a certain degree on our own, if that makes sense. So I feel like there is a big test that you're going through right now, a big lesson 
with these difficult things that you're experiencing, but Spirit wants you to know that you are safe, you and your loved ones are safe, and this is just a very opportune time to pray, to contemplate, and to ask for what it is that you want, and you will receive it. That's what's coming through very strongly with prayer and contemplation. So a lot of very powerful messages here. I'm seeing issues in the legal system. I'm seeing those of you who have experienced a suicide in your life with from a, a loved one. I'm, I'm very sorry to hear that. But at the same time, Spirit is letting you know that all is well, that you are supported, that you are guided. There is a level of action that needs to be taken in terms of more shadow work here, things that are being revealed. There's a major lesson unfolding here, but also an energy of needing to move away from fear-based energies, but also an energy of not running away from certain shadow aspects of yourself. So this card is coming with a few different messages in terms of what you need to take action on or suggesting you should take action on. But having that inner knowing that you and your loved ones are safe, that is the key here. And prayer and meditation and contemplation. So that is all that I am seeing, Libra. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!